In this lesson, we'll see how to solve radical equations with two squares. But I want us to get started first with solving radical equations with one square. Now, if I have 2 root x, 2 into 3x, root, root of 3x plus 4 plus x is equal to 36. I want us to collect like terms so that 2, the root of 3x plus 4 becomes 36 minus x. Now, already we have the root of 3x plus 4 at one side and we have our rational numbers also at the other side. So we can take the square of this side so that it becomes 2, the root of 3x plus 4, take the square of this side to be equals to 36 minus x all squared. So that this now becomes, if you expand this, 2 times 2, that's 4 into 3x plus 4. Remember that the root of 3x plus 4 all squared will still become 3x plus 4 is equals to, on expanding 36 minus x, it becomes into th that's 36 <coughs> minus x into 36 minus x. So that 4 times 3x, that's 12x plus 16, is the same thing as 36 times 36, that's 1,296 minus 36, you have 36 times x, and you have x times 36, both negative, that becomes minus 72x. Then x times x, that's plus x squared. I'll move all my things from the, to the left, to the right hand side, so that it becomes, it becomes 1,296 minus 16, that's 1,280 minus 72x. Now, my 12x is going to move to this other side to become minus 12x. So I'll be having minus 72x minus 12x. That's minus 84x plus x squared. Now we can now factorize this using our factorization method. Now what are the factors of 1,280? Using factorization method, we'll do 1,280 times x squared that becomes 1,280x squared. What are the factors of 1,280x squared? That when you multiply them, it will give you 1,280x squared. And when you add them together, it will give you 84x. The factors on my mind that you can see now will be 20 times 64. If you look at 20x, that's minus 20x and minus 64x. It will sum up together to 84x, 84x, and when you multiply them, you have 1,280. Now let's, so that I can replace this, I can replace 84x with, my equation becomes 1,280 minus 20x minus 64x plus x squared is equals to 0. So that my equation now becomes 1,280. The factor here is 20. Let's take 20 out. I'll be left with 20 in 1,280. That's 64 minus x. And here I should have minus 64. Minus 64 x and x minus x. So in the bracket, I'll be left with 64 minus x, 64 minus x is equals to 0. Now then I can now conclude that I have 64 minus x is equals to 0 and I also have 20 minus x is equals to 0. So that 20 minus x is equals to 0 implies that minus x is equals to minus 20. So that x now is equals to 20. Also, 64 minus x is equals to 0, we can conclude that 64 is equals to x. That means x is equals to 64 or is equals to 20. With that, we have solved for x. Now, let's take a look at our second equation. I'd like you to pause this video and take a look at this second equation on your own. Okay, let's do it together. Now, we have the root of x plus 8 plus the root of x plus 1 is equals to 7. 
you observe that we have two radical numbers at one side and one rational number at the other side. Now, what we're going to do, we're going to take the square of both sides. If I'm taking the square of both sides, it becomes that's the root of x plus 8, x plus 8 plus the root of x plus 1, all squared, you, you will multiply it twice, x plus 8 plus the root of x plus 1 is equal to 7 squared, that's 49. So that the root of x plus 8 would multiply root of x plus 8 and would also multiply root of x plus 1. The same thing happens from x plus 1 to multiply root of x plus 8 and also multiply root of x plus 1. So that I'll, I'll have root of x plus 8 into the root of x plus 8 plus the root of x plus 1. Now, plus the root of x plus 1 into the root of x plus 8 plus the root of x plus 1 is equal to 49. Now, so that the root of x plus 8 times the root of x plus 8, that's x plus 8. Now, plus the root of x plus 8 times the root of x plus 1, that's the root of x plus 8 into x plus 1 plus the root of x plus 1 times the root of x plus 8 again that's the root of x plus 1 times the root of x plus 8 now plus the root of x plus 1 times the root of x plus 1 that's x plus 1 is equals to 49 now if this is equals to 49 we have x here and we have x here we can collect like terms so that x plus x, that's 2x, and 1 plus 8, that's plus 9. Plus, I have the root of x plus 8, x plus 1 twice. Now that becomes 2 root x plus 1, x plus 8 into x plus 1 is equals to 49. Just the same thing we did when we were solving with one ra radical number. We'll collect like terms. Now, so that 2 root x plus 8 into x plus 1 will be equals to x. I have 9. 9 moves to the other side to become, to become 40, to become 40 minus 9 minus 2x. So that 2 root x plus 8 into x plus 1 is equals to 40 minus 9 that's 31 49 this 49 sorry not 40 49 minus 9 that's 40 minus 2x remember we have 2 here we have to move let's move to so that i have 2 root of x plus 8 into x plus 1 now that means i have 2 here let's divide both side by 2 I'll divide this side by 2. I'll divide this expression 2 by 2. That's equal to 20 minus 2x. So that root of x plus 8 into x plus 1 is equal to 20 minus 2x. Now to remove the square root, the easiest thing for us to do is to take the square of both sides once again. So, okay, this becomes 20 minus x, not 2x. 2 in 40 is 20. 2 in 2x is x and not 2x again. That's 20 minus x. Now, after taking square of both sides, we'll be left with x plus 8 into x plus 1 to be equals to 20 minus x all squared, which is the same thing as 20 minus x all squared. That's the same thing as 400. That's the same thing as 400 minus 40x plus x squared. And here I have x. Let's expand this. x plus 8 into x plus 1. That's the same thing as x squared plus 9x plus 9x plus 8 is equals to x squared 
minus 40x plus 400. I'm rewriting this part of the equation. Now, I have x squared here. I have x squared here. Obviously, x squared will subtract each other. I have 9x here. Let's collect like terms. And I have 40 here. 9x plus 40. 40 comes to the other side to become positive. Is equals to 400 minus 8. So that's 9x plus 40. That's 49x will be equals to 392. Now let's divide both sides to solve for x. We're we'll dividing both sides by 49. Divide this side also by 49. Now 49 gives me with 49 here. 7 in 49. I know 7 in 49 is 7. 7 in 39. 7 in 39 is 5. I'm left with 4. And here in 42, that's 6. We have 56. 7 here is 1. 7 56 is 8. So that conclusively, we can say that x is equals to 8. I hope with this lesson, you understand how to solve radical equations with 2 squared. Thank you and have a nice time.